important is that platforms like these are occasions when people get an opportunity to listen to some of the industry leaders who have spent time, who have experiences, who have best practices to talk about. But more importantly that is that it gives an opportunity for you to cross-check, ask your clarifications, seek your doubts to be answered out by these industry experts so that the so-called cavities of knowledge or cavities of doubt which you would otherwise have in your lifetime would now find an opportunity to seek an answer to. So these opportunities are very rare to come across. Therefore, platforms like these are very, very important in one's learning process. So what will be the one thing you'll be taking from this event? So from this event, you know, uh, fortunately for me, I was on the other side, but I have also simultaneously learned from what the others spoke and also much more from the questions that were asked. There were quite a few questions which made you think back that is the world unidimensional? Is the world only the world that you see through from your window or is there another way of looking at the world? And from the questions that were asked and what the other panel spoke, you certainly went back home thinking there is yet another world to learn from. Well, thank you. Thank you. Just a minute. Do you want to rehearse the question marks? No, 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 just let's go. She has a flight to get. Okay, we'll take two bites. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. So, how yeah. do, rolling? How 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 important do you think presentations like this are for HR industry? I think very very critical. It just reinforces the industry's view and idea to say that talent and people are important assets. Uh, there are a few things that I value as a country or as uh, industry or as professional that we can do for HR. A talent is different or a country is different only if you have three parts. In my view, and it's very personal, it's either a military power, economic power, or brain power. And above all comes talent in play. So whether it's a country or a company like us, and many more companies that are being recognized today, I think it's a pivotal recognition uh, for people and the importance that companies are focusing on on people as assets. So what will be the one thing you will be taking from this event except for the what? I think I quite liked Adil's comment on the business centricity of HR versus HR turning to be business centric. Uh, in the company that I work with uh, and company that I work with, one of the few mantras that I followed is that strategy doesn't get driven by HR, strategy gets created along with business. And as HR guys, I think the moment we turn business oriented and business centric or business partnering, uh, that's the tipping point for us to be successful and strategic and long term in vision and in strategy. So one last good thing. Yeah. What do you think that made you win this uh, award? I think our Coca-Cola's outstanding commitment uh, on people. Uh, everything that we do is very pivotal as I keep saying around people. As a company, we don't go back and build engagement for employees. We go back and say, what do you need us to build as an environment that will make you successful, that will make you productive, that will make you gaining, that will make you credible, that will make you growing, uh, and, and feel inspired and motivating. We kind of focus on that area and that bit, and that leads to different things. We have flagship programs on talent management, as they say. Uh, we've got an accelerated program called Pegasus for our mid to senior level. We've got budding programs called Chrysalis, which is for our aspiring young leaders. We've got another capability program called the Mantra, which is a university relations program. All our top-notch campuses in India witness this uh, program in, in a moment. Uh, we have a lot of focus on women in leadership, and there's a lot of capability that we build around the women in leadership programs, uh, both in India and across globally in the company. So a lot of focus on talent management and development together. And I think that's what stands uh, differentiated today and recognized by this audience. Thank you. Pleasure. Thanks. Uh, good enough? Yes. Looking for the camera. My name is Vinit. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, sir. Yeah, it's rolling? No. Yes. My name is Vinit Kaur. OK. So I would just wanted to ask how important the ceremonies like, like this are for the HR industry. I think this is a good event because uh, it helps in uh, HR uh, uh, professionals coming across, meeting, understanding some practices that are going on, also sharing and learning with each other. It's also a good opportunity to network with a lot of colleagues. You had at least about three to 350 people here. 
And last but not the least, uh, the last part of the event, the recognition, which is good to recognize good practices so that it encourages other companies also to learn from these good practices. So what will be the one thing you'll be taking home from this event? I think overall in a short time, for about two to three hours, I think there's a lot of uh, good uh, insights that one gets. Uh, you have a motivational speaker, you have a panel, and you have uh, quite some interactions. I think it's very good to learn of what is happening around in the function. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Did you guys tell me, what do you, what do you guys want me to speak? Yeah, I just, I'll just ask you, uh, so it's what, how, how important do you think this uh, felicitation ceremonies like this are? Okay. Then second question will be, what made, do you think made your company win this? Uh, prestigious position. Rolling, yeah? Yeah, I'm calling it an award anyway. So, uh, so first question is, how, what do you think about the yeah. ceremonies like this? I think uh, it's a fantastic event put together by Economic Times. And it was good to uh, interact with a fraternity of people uh, and talking about the future of HR uh, from where it is and in the times to come. It's really exciting to meet a majority of people uh, and it's really impressive that DT has been able to put together in a houseful kind of a, uh, a kind of a program together. So my compliments and congratulations to the Economic Times and from on Vodafone we are really proud to win the award on our talent practices. Uh, I congratulate the entire uh, team of the Times. Thank you very much. So what do you think? made your company win this one? I think some of the practices we've, we've, been, we've been focusing on fundamentals. We've been focusing on in terms of hiring the right quality of talent and really investing on them to build for future roles in terms of the way we assess them and then we invest them in terms of capability building and the business of future. And that really helps us, you know, make sure that the business delivers to uh, for now and, and so, yeah, that's it. Can you just say your name for the camera? Uh, Surinder Mehta from Vodafone. Thank you. Thank you. It's rolling. So, yeah. can you just say your name for the camera? Mudli okay. Padmanabhan from Vodafone. So, can you just tell me how uh, events like this are important for the HR industry? Um, this event is really important because it brought the best of the uh, HR community and a uh, lot of deliberations. Uh, which, which were discussed, I think, were very futuristic and uh, very important for the HR community to actually take, take it forward. So, what do you think will be the one thing that you take away from this event today? I think uh, uh, one thing that I took away from this uh, uh, conclave was trying to build business-centric people organizations rather than building uh, people-centric business organizations. I think uh, that was one takeaway. Uh, so how HR can actually align closely with business and try to create impact for business. Just have a name, Bodhi. Yeah, I'm Vishwanathan from Axis Bank. Uh, so, uh, ask you. So, uh, what do you think? How important do you think felicitation ceremonies like this are for the industry? In fact, uh, you know, you to have uh, knowledge about the people around you. You know what they do. Uh, day to day functioning across the country, across the globe, is changing day by day. So you need to keep pace with them. And if you need to keep pace with them, you need to have such sessions, such conclaves, where you can interact with, uh, you know, functionaries from various, uh, across the industries, and understand and see what is their, you know, learnings, which we can also adopt, or we can share our uh, successes with them. So it's very critical. And I, coming from a banking industry, the most important raw material for us is the human uh, resources which we build in. And, and it's not so easy to get these from the market. So the challenge today for the human resources is department is to create talent within. That becomes a big challenge. And you need to have a process in place and create people, uh, talent within the organization and build them so that they can become the future leaders within the organization. So what do you think your bank is different 
what makes your ba your bank such a policy to yeah. from that see our banks uh, the strong culture which we have within uh, developed uh, which is our own usp the the work culture which we have developed within the bank uh, is uh, something uh, which uh, keeps up uh, different from the other banks and uh, this is something uh, which has not happened overnight which has been built uh, brick by brick by the bank and uh, that's what is keeping us uh, away from or which is separating us from the other uh, banks thank you thank you uh, just uh, tell your name and don't look into the camera just tell your name and uh, i'm shrinivasalu Uh, my first question is, how important do you think felicitation ceremonies like this are for the industry? I'm really honored. I'm very, very happy to receive this felicitation from Economic Times. I'm really very happy and really recognized. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um, what kind of uh, HR policies? of your organization do you think made you win this uh, felicitation? This is specifically for talent acquisition award. So really motivating the talent is an important aspect. Hence we created a gamification for the recruiters to motivate and perform better and better and better. That is exactly this achievement has happened because of that. Good. Thank you. Thank you. How do your name in front of you? Manish Rao from Atos India Product Limited. So, so, what policies of your organization do you think made you uh, win this award? Well, I got this award for uh, transformation in HR, uh, changing the ways from uh, the way we were working to the new ways of working. Okay, uh, how important do you think uh, felicitation ceremonies this are like this are to encourage uh, the industry? Recognition is always very important, irrespective of the level. And um, you know, this uh, is my first national individual award, so I really uh, feel very honored, and uh, I am extremely proud of having received it. So, as an individual award winner, what what is your uh, message to the the upcoming industry people? I guess the theme of the summit today was, you know, you can do, and. Uh, I would say to people that you can do, please go for it and make the difference for yourself and the organization that you work for. Thank you. So please say your name and uh, so, uh, what do you think about initiatives like this, and how do you think this will help the industry? In the Economic Times HR Excellence Forum has been a phenomenal platform. It's worked us well to recognize the HR community. It's been a great uh, place, you know, recognizing and rewarding, uh, you know, top-notch HR professionals. And it's, uh, it's been a really satisfying experience for us. So. This time uh, you have a uh, minister here for the event. How uh, how much important do you think is the is the conversation between the industry and the government? I think both industry and government has to go hand in glove. Uh, even even companies cannot work in isolation. So it is very important to have uh, you know coordination between uh, the industry as well as the, the, the corporate. How well have you been your collaboration with ET so far? The collaboration has, uh, with ET has been a phenomenal experience. You know, it worked us well in the past. That's the reason why we are continuing uh, further with ET. So Economic Times has, as a brand has always been a phenomenal uh, platform. It helped us reach, reach to our target audience. Thank <laughs> you.